the war in Ukraine, the world's most egregious case of manspreading. <laughs> now, despite the West sanctioning Russia, despite the U.S. flooding Ukraine with weapons, and despite you buying a Ukrainian flag iPhone case, the invasion is still somehow going on. And the Russians aren't just gaining Ukrainian territory, they're also recovering a bit of their old lifestyle back home, starting with food. Because I don't know if you remember how McDonald's closed down all of its restaurants to punish the Russians. Well, now those restaurants are reopening under new management, and the Russians are very excited. In Russia, the Big Macs and Golden Arches may be gone, but 15 shuttered McDonald's restaurants there just reopened under new branding and ownership. So Russia now has its own version of McDonald's. It comes under a different name here. It's called Kusno i Tochka, which essentially means tasty and that's it. Also has a different logo. You can see it right there. Other than that, a lot of things are actually very similar to McDonald's. However, there is no Big Mac and there also is no Happy Meal either. As you can see, the uh, Russian version of McDonald's Looks a lot like McDonald's. You have the uh, double cheeseburger here, fries, and this is a nine-piece, not McNuggets, it's Nuggets, and some sort of soft drink. And if you look carefully, you can see the sauces even seem to have the McDonald's logo blacked out. Wait, what? You just blacked it out, and you're like, oh, I wonder what this one is, huh? But yeah, that's right. The Russians have taken over McDonald's in Russia, and they've given it a whole new name. And except for the branding, I mean, these restaurants are exactly like McDonald's. The sauces, the burgers, the nuggets. They even broke the ice cream machine to give you that authentic feeling of disappointment. <laughs> you know, that's what they did. Now, they don't have branded items like Big Macs or Mac Nuggets, but they do still have Grimace. Yeah, no, not the character, just the face that Russians make all the time. <laughs> I feel like they could have come up with a better name than Tasty and That's It. <laughs> it almost sounds like they're hiding something. It's Tasty and That's It. <laughs> Stop asking questions. <laughs> like, what kind of a name is that for a restaurant? Tasty and That's It. Almost sounds like a, like a mistake, you know? Like, they called the guy who was making the signs, and they were like, yeah, it's called Tasty and That's It. And the dude just wrote everything they said. <laughs> yeah, they're lucky the name isn't Tasty and That's It. Let me know when you're ready for the credit card number. <laughs> And you know what's crazy about this story is, like, it shows you how powerful corporations have become in the world. Like, think about it. Russia has no problem breaking international law, committing war crimes, and defying the United Nations, but they draw the line at violating licensing rights? <laughs> That's where they won't go too far. They're like, comrades, you don't want to mess with Ronald Clown. <laughs> Very dangerous. I heard one time he took enemy into ball pit. He was never seen again, huh? <laughs> yeah, ba-da-ba-ba-ba, -ba -ba -ba. he was not loving it. <laughs> no.